All right, Virgo. Okay, so let's see. Let's get another good reading going on for you guys. And what zodiac sign will I be connecting you with tonight? Thank you, my spirit team. I just did Virgo and Aries. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Look, Virgo and Aries keeps coming out. <laughs> Hold on. I already did a Virgo and Aries reading. So let me see if I can get another one. I did Liga, no, Libra, Virgo. All right, come on now. Virgo and. Unbelievable. Gemini is the lucky winner. Virgo and Gemini. Okay. So let's see what's good with you too. Don't forget, flip the rose as you see fit. Take only what you need and leave the rest. Please use the spirit of discernment, booze, all right? Um, everyone's on different timelines, so also keep that in mind. This could be past energy I'm speaking about, or it could be happening right now, okay? Or it may not have happened at all. But however, keep your vibes on, okay? All right, especially on this good 2 22 even though I know it's 9 p.m. here in Baltimore, Maryland, we still can enjoy a little bit of this energy. All right, y'all? So um, let me set my intentions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides, for helping me with this reading for Virgo and Gemini. Okay, so Gemini, you're Gemini, you're Gemini. They're indecisive, okay, about something. Tell me more about this card. All right, so what I'm seeing here is that your person definitely has awakened four cups in the reverse, okay? They were definitely over it. And it wasn't over you, Virgo, just over relationships, period, is what I'm seeing. Um, Nine of Wands is in an upright position. So what I'm seeing here is that your person has definitely has has had a lot of adversity and they've been trying to be very resilient, okay? But overall, it's like, they're kind of defensive when it comes to this or they're being very stubborn because they haven't really been seeing any effort out of having, let's just say, any re results. Let's put it that way. They haven't been seeing any results when they put that energy into love, right? Um, Don't get me wrong. They love you, okay? But the problem is, is that when it comes to having an actual relationship, that's when they become indecisive, okay? Because they, they, they put in their energy one time before and they've been let down is what I'm seeing, okay? Or, or it, it was just, it created some type of hardship, too many responsibilities, okay? Yep, five of pentacles here in the reverse position. So right now what they're focusing on is like, all right, how can I get these difficult times in my life to end? Okay, that's what they want. They want the difficult times to come to an end. This is why they haven't really chosen which direction they want to go when it comes to you two. Okay, now a lot of times it's a fear. Yep. And that's what's happening. Ten of Wands in the reverse. So they're they're burdened. They're carrying a lot on their shoulders here. And it's time for them to release the burden for real of whoever this empress in the reverse is. So this could be a baby mother. Um, it's a mother figure. It could be a baby mother. It could be um, a mother, an aunt, a sister, whatever it is, right? It's time for them to release the burden of this situation and this person. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that they definitely have hit hard times when it comes to this one person in particular. Or, shoot, it could be several people. You never know, right? Um, but, however, yeah, they're juggling. Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles in the upright. So, they have to make a decision. And it's hard because it's like, which one do I, you know, give to um, which situation do I give to? Which should I put more energy into? Should I stay with this? Should I leave? You know, all of these things could be coming in up in your person's mind because I do feel like your person has a lot on their plate, such as you, but it's like they have a lot that they're juggling. And then on top of that, it's like they have this person in their life that is very codependent. So with this queen of cups in the reverse. So that's why you've been in hangman. That's why you've been waiting because they feel like they can't really make any moves because whoever this baby mama is or this mother figure is very codependent. It could be two people, you know, but however, they're afraid of, um, your person here is afraid of, um, 
losing something or having more difficult times, even financial loss is what I'm hearing. Okay, so whatever is happening here with this situation here, yeah, when it comes to them taking a chance and really following their heart here, this is where you may sense that they are very apprehensive, okay? Um, they've had too many trials and tribulations, and then they even still feel like, hey, I'm still going to have more. Like, in the future, it's going to create more problems, right? Um, this is what keeps them unmotivated. Tell me about the trials and tribulations in the future. What are they fearing? What are they fearing? So they, they're fearing basically if they begin to hear, find some type of resolution to the, their problems, right? Come outside of their, um, that feeling of feeling restricted and trapped, right? It's like they're fearing that by working on you guys' connection, it's going to cause some more confusion in their outer world. And that's what they don't want to deal with. Again, like I said, if this is a baby mama, they may try to do everything possible to make their life a living hell. They may try to take them to child support, however it is, right? Um, but what's connected to this is their limited self-beliefs, okay? This is what's preventing them from moving forward, bam, working on you two, right? Because you two are the lovers. You definitely have a very strong bond with each other, but they're allowing, their, um, they're focusing too much on this other situation and all of the negative shit that could possibly happen that ain't even happened, right? Um, and that's what's creating the imbalance. And with you, it may feel like the feeling isn't mutual. They don't want what I want. But actually what I'm hearing is like the feeling is mutual. It's just the fact that they don't want burdens. They don't want the extra added responsibility um, that they feel as though it may bring you know how sometimes it seems like it's easier just to keep things as it is because then nothing can get you understand nothing can interfere you know really bad can interfere with what you got you know if they make a mistake or something happens it's like it's no accountability is what i hear okay so yeah it does sound a whole lot like that like they don't want to be held accountable accountable um and this is here with the moon card again that's where the uncertainty comes in at Okay, so, of course, as you can see, I feel like your person may have made a lot of bad choices, period. And they have a lot of regret about these bad choices. So, yes, I don't feel like it's the accountability of, you know, having to be responsible for you. It's having to be responsible for themselves. They don't, I, I just, I don't know why I keep hearing it's like they don't really fully trust themselves, okay, um, with making the right decision because they've made the bad decisions in the past. But also what I'm hearing is that your person is going through a transformation. So they're healing and they're releasing some things that no longer serve them. So once they start to begin to realize that, hey, they're going through this transformation, they won't repeat the cycles. They won't make the same mistakes, right? Because we have to learn these karmic lessons. Um, but however, yeah, um, again, that's what creates the imbalance. Okay, with the lovers reverse, the eight of pentacles, and instead of them working on the connection, they just kind of lose sight of what the overall bigger picture is. Um, that that end result, you know what I'm saying? What they're looking for long term. Okay, tell me about the eight of pentacles. Mm -hmm. So look, they're going through a transformation, as I spoke of with the death card. They're walking away from a lot of cups that aren't serving them. So right now, that's what they're really working on. They're working on releasing themselves of that same negative pattern, that same negative dynamic that has been playing in their life over and over and over again. So it's a lot of major phases that are ending here for um, your person, okay? So regardless of what it may look like, um, It, it's it's look it's 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 like when you look at it with your natural eye it's like mm, i don't know where the freak this shit is going to go but just really pretty much just stay positive and you make decisions for yourself that's going to end up serving your highest good at the end of the day okay because you're not being called to wait for anything okay or anyone all right you always are being guided to choose you first okay now um they're adaptable, but it's just that they're hard to pin down. When it comes to commitment, you know, that's where the part, it gets very 
it gets very hard for your person. They may have commitment phobia um, or just commitment issues, period. As you can see, they have some type of karmic energy in their life that has definitely killed that mood for them, okay? It's like, nah, they killed it completely, okay? But um, I feel like you guys are definitely reaching a new emotional level within your connection. So you're, you are getting a fresh new phase here. Um, so that's a good thing, and that's that's really going to help propel the energy forward um, where you guys will be able to at least look for new ways to stimulate each other, right? You both got curious minds, and I really feel like that's what keep y'all connection going, y'all communication, how well you guys are able to collaborate here. Um, but it definitely may be time for something new to take place. Um, it, it, it's like your person may be ready or this could be your energy ready for the next level here okay and you may feel really restless because you're ready to step it up and it's just like they're not there as of yet but this may be a great time for you to negotiate here virgo okay because you guys can come to a mutual agreement here or some mutual understanding can take place between you two here that will definitely make both of you feel that's how i say satisfied with the agreement okay <laughs> satisfied with the agreement i really feel like virgo you just have to you just want to know like that we are growing okay that we are evolving that things aren't staying the same because virgo we we like what we like stability so we need that feeling of feeling safe within the connection and i feel like that's what it is that you're more concerned about is like just knowing here that we agree um that our connection is 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 what it is and it possibly could be something deeper than this right you want to be able to be sure that your relationship will flourish okay so make sure you're always keeping your communication skills going with um, your person because of course Gemini definitely is ruled by communication a lot of times Virgo um, our communication is ruled um, Mercury our Mercury is ruled by Gemini which involves that communication as well um, I think if I'm not mistaken that's for all Virgos but however I know it's in my chart that way okay but however um, yeah Your person is definitely reluctant to committing, but they're willing to be your companion, okay? So the key to success right now lies in the willingness to see another point of view and to avoid indecision. So right now, just really just try to see how y'all can negotiate right now, okay? Because like you can see, like I said, like right now, it's like, hey, ooh, I, I want to be your companion. I want you in my life. But ooh, when it comes to the commitment part, honey, your person is definitely fearful of that. Whoever they were connected to or are connected to, you're going to have to send, look, send some prayers. I'm like, I need a miracle to help change that situation because it was toxic, okay, is what I'm hearing. So let me um pull, tell me about this for but look, luck is on your side, honey. Okay. Luck is on your side right now. So let's see what that's about. I can't find my Moonology book. I don't have a clue where the hell it went. It was on my desk. At one point, I was using it. And now, I don't see it nowhere. Tell me about the luck is on your side. So let me pull a tarot with this. Tell me about the luck is on your side. Who, Empress? So you are attracting something. Your person, mm, your person is changing their perspective about a lot. Why? Because you're changing your perspective about how um how you can manifest or attract the happiness that you you want. You're going. You're now stepping outside of those normal habits. Um, what I'm picturing here, you're starting to see that there's other ways. Okay. Of attracting this or what you want so let me show y'all the hang one here in the Empress all right so divine feminine energy comes through so you could be um, divine feminine um, it doesn't this is collective but however um, overall it's like right now you're recognizing here that you have the ability to attract what it is that you desire for yourself like you're you're in alignment 
Okay, you're in alignment. And when you're in alignment, you begin to what? Change your perspective of how you see everything because why? You want to stay in alignment. Okay, and this is why luck is on your side because now you are matching the flow, okay? The energy of the universe, okay? And now, look, the universe wants to co-create with you is what I just heard, okay? Mm -hmm. The devil in the reverse. So you're now standing in your independence. You're standing in your power right now. And you're still remaining hopeful regardless. Whatever the setbacks may be in your situation here, you're still remaining hopeful. It's like you're now moving from that energy of dwelling on the the, look, the BS or the stuff that you may have lost in, in the past to more of one of like, look, I can manifest what I need and what I want. What I desire desires me, right? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that energy. Yep, and even though here your person here may be feeling disconnected, okay, and they're still focusing on the loss and they're not ready to offer you anything serious with all these cards coming out here, you're still staying connected to your happy place where you're trying, okay? You're trying. If you're not, then I definitely recommend that you go through your transformation with the death card, all right? It's time to die to self, okay? Because being in alignment, it's how you manifest what it is that you desire for yourself and love. And even if this person isn't ready, okay, look, there's always someone who is, okay? So I don't know, you know, your level of commitment um, with this connection. Some of you are in a twin flame connection and you're definitely um, staying in alignment with the journey, even though things have not actually turned for the better yet. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, even though here you're still experiencing some stuff, right? And your person is still kind of focusing on the loss. Don't do that, okay? Stay resilient. You focus on your gains, okay? Because the hardship is going to end. It's definitely going to end is what I'm seeing. So show me more. Tell me more about this Empress. And that's what I'm seeing. Your efforts are going to actually literally pay off. Why? Because you're staying resilient. Mm-hmm. You're staying resilient here, okay? And even though your connection hasn't come full circle as of yet, look, heaven is still applauding you. Why? Because you're staying resilient and you're staying in your empress energy. You're staying divine feminine. It's like, no, nothing can take me or knock me off of my, um, take and knock my crown off. <laughs> I'm too fabulous for all of that, right? Yeah, you're staying, um... You're staying in alignment. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. Sometimes your mind just be like, um, <laughs> 9 on 9 on the clock, you guys. Check that out. That's my birthday. 9-9. Nine, nine. Show me what I need to see here. Mm -hmm. It's like, regardless, Virgo, I feel like you're just staying determined. That's it. It's like... This lover's card, I feel like it represents also yourself. It's like you're you're making a choice for yourself to stay in alignment with yourself, to have that balance within you. That's where the harmony is coming in at. And this, this is literally what it represents. It's like you're now realizing like out of your person's indecisiveness that at the end of it all, that meaningful connection that you're looking for is with you. That respect and compassion that you're looking for lies within you. You're realizing what you are looking for is not outside of you, okay? So, and if you're, look, if you haven't still gotten to that point yet and you're still kind of stuck in um, those low vibrational feelings where you don't feel like you are attracting what you want, where you feel a little insecure, look, realize that you are the empress and that everything you need is within you, regardless of who doesn't know what they want to do, right? If they don't choose you, it doesn't matter, okay? Because you still can have it all, Virgo, 1901 on the clock. <laughs> all right, y'all, so I'm going to get ready to go. So remember that. Take those words to heart, baby, okay? Because sometimes we get a little thrown off when people um kind of leave you waiting or hanging in limbo. You take it as a personal reflection of you. It doesn't have anything to do with you, okay? Because you're still shining, you're still the empress. You're still amazing. You're still beautiful. You're still birthing new ideas. You are love. You are whole. You are complete. You hear how I'm speaking to you? Okay, so that's how you need to speak to yourself. All right, y'all. Peace.